Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the new Unify Network 9.2.87 which has been promoted as an official stable. So in this new update, we will see what are the improvements and the bug fixes. Let's get started. So on the screen you see I have a uh, community release note for the Unify Network application 9.2.87 and under the overview you will see Unify Network application 9.2.87 adds WAN SLA roaming assistant and include the improvement and the bug fixes listed below so this is the new feature which is added as a van sla so you can uh, have your uh, verification server pin verification you can set uh, various sla on your uh, isp connections and there is also a new features added like a dscp manager and everything so i will put down a link in the description for this release note so you can check that out so right now uh, I have a UXG Pro running on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus and the UDM Pro on my other network, uh, which is running on the latest version 9.82.87. So this update uh, on the Unify Dream Machine Pro when it was releases on 4.2.12 and the Unify Network uh, version 9.2.87. So this was added, the WAN SL in the DSCP manager was added. But recently on the UXG Pro, uh, there is an early access version uh, available, uh, which is 4.2.2, which added the WAN SLA features because uh, on the 9.2.87, uh, if a UXG Pro is running 4.1.13, uh, there are no WAN SLA added. But after updating to the early access version, as you can see here, 4.2.2. Two, it added the WAN SLA features on the UXG Pro, which you can uh, run on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, even on your hosted controller like the Hostify. So first we will take a look about the WAN SLA uh, and then we'll take a look into the DSCP manager and everything. So if you go to the settings and you go to the internet, uh, you will see you, you must have, I mean, uh, I hope you have a primary van secondary van as a failover even you can add uh, the third van also because the uxg pro uh, has four port out of that you can use three port as a van van one van two and van three as your first failover second failover and uh, the uh, fourth port is a LAN port but if you have a udm pro you can have up to almost like eight vans you can add like multiple vans and you can manage here but if you see under the van mode there is an options called create new sla so you can add service level agreement so right now i've already added the sla i can show you what sla i have added so i've given the name internet sla and the server condition i have set to all because you can set any majority or you can set the custom like define amount of verification server that must be unreachable or exceed that threshold so i have set to all and i have given the verification server one and the verification server two so here you can check uh, the type i have set to the ping or you can set to the dns and the server address i have the google and the ping interval is set five seconds and the time period is 60 seconds and you can set set the sla targets like uh, what is the packet loss threshold if the packet loss threshold goes to 30 20 percent it will goes into the failover mode i mean it will fail over uh, after that so this is the latency threshold also the time it takes the packet to travel to reachability server and back to the gateway so i set 150 millisecond but i have not used a jitter threshold this is basically i think uh, uh, for the VoIP solution if you are using any VoIP uh, prioritization for the VoIP uh, connectivity you can use this and uh, second the verification server I have set on 1.1.1 which is a cloud flare and I have set the ping interval and time period as same so uh, how does it work you can check here uh, it will provide custom, uh, customizable monitoring of internet connection L to ensure reliable failover and main, maintain network stability. For in case uh, you uh, on the failover van, uh, if you're using any 
स्टारलिंग और एनी आई एस पी प्रोवाइडर लाइक इन इंडिया यू आर यूजिंग जियो फाइबर विच हैज ए वेरी पुअर लेटेंसी एंड द मिली सेकेंड आई विल शो यू हियर इन द ड्रीम मशीन प्रो वॉट द वैन स्टेटस ऑफ दैट जियो नेटवर्क इफ यू गो हियर एंड चेक हियर यू कैन सी दिस ऑप्शन अंडर द जियो नेटवर्क ऑन द डैश बोर्ड यू कैन सी दिस इज द एवरेज लेटेंसी इन द मैक्सिमम लेटेंसी सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सेट द वैन एस एल ए अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लेटेंसी लाइक द पिंग थ्रेश होल्ड एंड द पिंग लेटेंसी यू कैन सेट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट इट विल फेल ओवर एंड मेंटेन योर नेटवर्क सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मैनेज योर एस एल ए एंड इवन यू कैन सेलेक्ट एस एल ए एंड हियर यू विल गेट एन ऑप्शन इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज एनी कस्टमाइजेबल कस्टमाइजेबल एस एल ए यू कैन सेट टू ऑटो एंड इवन ऑन द वैन टू फेलो यू कैन सेट दैट सो यू कैन मैनेज एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन हैड एज मैनी एज वेरीफिकेशन सर्वर राइट नाउ हियर आई हैव जस्ट एडेड टू बट यू कैन ट्राई मोर and after that uh, they have added one more uh, important things here uh, like a dscp manager so if you go to the settings and search setting for the dscp manager and if you take a look here in the dscp manager you can manage all your network from here even you can export or import those. so uh, if you click on export a csv file will be downloaded for your network you will get list of all your networks like uh, uh, your uh, wifi wired client vlans and uh, everything like you, your static or dynamic or fixed you can uh, filter it out with your online clients with your offline clients if you want to set and any client which are on dynamic uh, ip you can set that and uh, which is on the fix you can uh, choose that everything here all your network you can check that after that uh, they have added uh, more options like if you go to the uh, devices tab uh, and here at the top you will see the devices update and settings so here from here you can manage uh, the channel release like the firmware release of your devices uh, if you want to set on the early access a official release candidate and if you want to schedule uh, for your device update you can set it here accordingly and here is a device setting if you want to inform host override and this is the device authentication they have removed it from the settings and they have added here in the device settings you can uh, add ssh key and uh, set your username and password so this was the update they have uh, new update they have bought here in the uh, prod here in the new unify network 9.2.87 as you can see this dscp and improvement you can uh, see they have added a roaming assistant also if you go here into the settings and take a look into the wifi you will see an options here like uh, right now the default wifi speed is set to conservative uh which will prioritize uh, the clean spectrum and it will avoid the dfs channel and it will pro uh, prioritize the uh, channel width on 5 gigahertz which is speed limited to 500 mbps and if you want to uh, wifi speed on the maximum you can set that and if you want to uh, apply custom you can use the custom and set accordingly to the custom and you can apply to all ips and here you can even set the daily spectrum and optimizer so at the daily it will optimize your channel and scan accordingly to that uh, and it will uh, set all the channel frequency in the width according to this daily spectrum optimizer and this option has been added right now it uh, encourages devices with the weak signal to roam to the strongest access point so right now uh, you can set the threshold dbm from here for example it will override to all ap's you can set accordingly like the minus 75 dbm you can start with that so this was the feature has been added recently uh, in the unify network 9.2.87 so this is very useful features if you are having any roaming issues on your network and uh those things apart from that they have uh, improved uh, they have brought lot of improvement and the bug fixes you can check that out so i think uh, that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video uh, if you have any question please comment down thanks for watching see you in the next video bye